Either of those. So while it's cold outside and we're experiencing lovely weather, there's something we'd like to try. Now, some of you might recall us making wheels out of concrete, ice, a couple of variants actually. One with studs, the other without. We drove around and the results would always vary. And recently we became aware of a material called picrate, which is essentially a mix of ice and sawdust. We gave this a bit of thought. And uh, finding sawdust and uh, chips of wood shouldn't be an issue. So let's try reinforcing ice with the help of wood chips and such. And with metallic shavings. And see which one of those is more durable. So let's proceed to mix everything, freeze the forms, and try out those wheels. Okay, let's do this. Ice tires with sawdust and metal shavings for reinforcement and traction. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. So here's what's up. Here we've got pike reed, and in here we have a metallic version of it. It's the same principle, pretty much. This seems to be more promising, but then who really knows? Now it's all a matter of carefully cutting off the tires, revealing the ice itself with all of the reinforcement. Yeah, we have a look at what we've made and uh, get to the testing. Alright, we've removed the rubber, and uh, this is what we've got, a lovely little wheel. So this right here is pike reed. So all of the wood chips and sawdust they make for quite an interesting look. Even though we really made an effort to pack the chips in there, you still get the impression that there's still quite a thick layer of plain ice covering the wood chips. I guess it acts as a sort of magnifying glass. Looks pretty cool. Now this you can't rub with your hand. Here you've got metal shavings. And unlike the wood chips and sawdust, this is sticking out. Must have been pressing up hard against the rubber. And so, from the looks of it, yeah, there's some unpleasantness. It would seem as if the ice has been cracked. That is not ideal. But we've got to do some testing and see how this behaves. Because from what I've heard, this stuff is four times more durable than just plain ice. Alright, let's see what happens. All right, we've got the wheels on, it's all good. They are rotating as the engine is running. Okay, let's bring it down. Don't be scared, we've done wheels made of ice before. We good? Though we weren't expecting anything to happen at this stage. No, it's intact. 
Everything is all right, amazingly enough. No wheel spin, even. Driving over concrete. Yeah, I'll definitely take it easy. What about over here? Great, here we go. They're doing pretty well. They are spinning, I mean, they are made of ice. But we saw the metal shavings sticking out. And they are currently functioning as sort of tire studs, I guess. Oh, there's some wheel spin in second, even. But we are moving along. The car moves, but now let's try flipping around. We come to a stop. And will we be able to set off? Oh, it's moving. Nice, look at that. On just ice, it wouldn't have been able to. Ice on ice or on snow, it'd be slipping like mad. And there we go, I think we might have hit a groove. Could have been the front wheels or the rears. Oh, wow. Am I stuck? Looks like it needs a push. What do you know? Have the shavings been swept or broken off? Oh my. All right. Check that out. The going has gotten quite a bit tougher. Holy cow. Why is that? The ice hasn't gotten any hotter or colder. It was outside, so the temperature should be the same. The shavings must have broken off, leading to um, a reduction in grip. But we still have traction and are moving. Time for some durability testing then. That did not last long at all. What happened back there? Oh, holy cow. Take a look at that. All of the um, metal shavings that we use to reinforce the ice, well, they're all very different. You've got curls, thin strings. Some of them are thick, I mean, I don't even know how you best describe it. All of it was produced by our cutter and it couldn't take it. Couldn't take a second gear burnout. That's just ridiculous. This is an interesting development. The wheels have failed. Eh, yeah, whatever. That's why we started with it. It has gotten really cold and, uh, yeah, steel and water... Yeah, this just isn't gonna do. Okay, now let's try the wood chips. Who's gonna get the gate? We've got the wheels on there, it's all good. Bring it down. So Pycrete has apparently got four times the durability of ice. Come on, dude, with how durable this is, nothing is gonna happen. It should hold up just fine. It's nice and smooth. And driving around the complex might be an issue because of the wheel spin, which is very much a possibility. But let's head out and see how it behaves. Here we go, moving along, picking up some speed. And we're out. So far, so good. And we're scooting straight away. Up the hill. Oh, come on, we've already made it up the hill. 
Nope. Go for crying out loud. It just doesn't want to grip. I say we try going a bit faster. I mean, it sounds like a good enough idea. To the best of my ability, at least. Come on now. We should have at least some grip. No, it doesn't. This obstacle is proven to be a bit much. Yeah, just ain't having it. How do I get up the hill, though? Come on, now let's go. Come on, move, give me something. Nope. Doesn't want to. What a shame. Anyway, there's only one thing left for us to do. And that is a burnout to test the durability. Flip around and let's do it. So the fact of the matter is, oh holy cow. What the... What did you break the car for? So here's the situation, guys. The wheels we made out of plain ice, even when just driving around, we had chunks coming off, cracks were forming and so on. So those were gradually deteriorating. But once we got some reinforcement going, even using metal shavings, those did quite well with the driving portions of the tests. I would have imagined a similar story with the wood chips, however, they didn't have nearly as much in the way of traction. The metal shavings, some of them were sticking out and essentially acting as sort of studs. But with wood, that wasn't the case. But we drove around, even had some wheel spin. Everything was all right. But as soon as we decided to do a burnout, didn't matter if it were the metal shavings or the sawdust. In both cases, the wheel blew to pieces. At the end of the day, they were more durable than wheels made out of just plain ice. But I wouldn't say it was a massive difference. We might have done something wrong, of course. But it said use wood chips and water, shavings, metal dishwashing sponges, etc. We stuck to the recipe as best we could. Anyway, you saw it all for yourselves, and that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. That's it for this video, catch you guys later.